Hey guys, Mike here from Century 21 Prospect Realty. Alyssa here with A-List Organizing. And we are back with our home organization videos and today we are going to talk about closets. Yes, so, bedroom closets yes. specifically. All right, so take it away Alyssa. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, this time what I wanted to do was to not necessarily give you the tips of how to completely make over your closet, yep. but more it's like three tips how to start you know, start getting your closet organized. For sure. I mean, obviously, we've heard it a million times, the hardest part sometimes is just starting. So mm -hmm. uh, today the goal is to give you three tips on how you can just start, get yeah. the ball rolling. Yeah, exactly. All right, so tip number one. Oh, yes, we're in my home, <laughs> yeah. by the way. So uh, My home is outlawed. Since, since the pantry, my home has been outlawed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so tip number one, you might have heard this one already. It's quite popular on the internet. Um, so you'll notice, obviously, that all my hangers are fake facing this way, the functional way. But my first tip is for you to reverse all of your hangers. So every single hanger you have in your closet. I just want to say that's already an earth-shattering idea for me. When, when <laughs> Alyssa told me this, I was like, what? <laughs> Why would you do this? Yeah. Um, and so then the idea is that when you say, okay, you know, I want to wear this sweater, cool, you know, you wear your sweater, and then you put the um, hanger back in the right way and put the sweater back in on this hanger. And then, so then you have, you know, you're going to have some hangers facing the right way, some facing the wrong way. And as, like I say, as you wear a piece of clothing, um, put it back the right way. Then after about a month, I would say, just examine your wardrobe and see which clothes are still facing the wrong way. See which hangers are still facing the wrong way. And think about it. Generally, if you haven't worn something in a month, think about it, that's 30 days and all of this stuff I wouldn't have worn in a month. Maybe that means that you actually don't like it very much. Maybe it means that it's time to get rid of it. So something to consider there um, for, again, starting that organization. Next tip is, so okay, so you're a month, it's a month later, and you say, oh, you know, like these four things, I haven't worn them in the month, and you know what? I actually don't really like them. I'm just holding on to them because it's a nice piece or for whatever reason, but I don't want it anymore. So my recommendation, like I have right here, is to have a bag or a basket or a bin for those things that you don't want. So as you come across an item, you just take it out, put it in the bag, and then it's not, so it's not like you're like, oh yeah, you know, I don't, I don't want to wear this. Where am I going to put it? Okay, I'll just put it on the ground. And then you have this like horrible mess of clutter. <laughs> <laughs> A big no-no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the idea, yeah. And so, I mean, for me, this is almost full and then I can donate it, right? Or either to the thrift store or to a charity or what have you. And then tip number three. I'm actually really bad at this, and uh, I'm going to admit it. Professional organizers <laughs> are not always perfect when it comes to organization. I actually recommend that your closet, in any closet, in any room, be akin to its function, what it's supposed to be. So this is the closet in the master bedroom. It is supposed to be the closet for the people that sleep okay. in here, the clothes closet, right? And I have laundry and, and that sort of thing, and that's fine. I also have mm, some workout stuff. Oh, and like an amp. <laughs> and oh, some old stuffed animals. And a fan. And you know, it is fairly organized, so it's not too bad. But it also does feel like when I open this door, it's quite cluttered. And so my recommendation is that you keep this your clothes closet for clothes. Um, and it just makes it more of a place that you, for one, number one, want to stay organized because it doesn't have all that extra clutter. Um, and yeah, I just think it's a really good recommendation. I'll say the reason why I have <laughs> <laughs> um, the other, this other stuff in here is that we don't have a lot of storage in our house, but it's also stuff that I have yet to, um, I probably should get rid of. And I... And I <laughs> I haven't, you know, brought, mentally brought myself there. The other thing that Mike and I, Mike mentioned before um, we turned on the the video is that 
you know, it's pretty common, especially in places I've seen with clients that have, um, you know, it's, it's a young family and the mom and dad or, or the parents are just caring about the kids and what the kids are doing and make sure everything's done. And then the master bedroom and the master closet just become a dumping ground. And so this could be the beginning of a dumping <laughs> ground. And so once it starts, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to keep going and it's pretty hard to stop. So, so yeah, so those are my three tips for closet organization. So three really good tips but I think we're missing something. I think we're missing the bonus tip. The bonus tip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so before when I was talking about um, the bag or the bin um, for clothes for donation um, that you wanna keep in your closet, I have a bonus tip about where you can take those clothes. All right, clothes. let's hear it. Yeah, so um, I'm hosting, A-List Organizing is hosting a community-wide free clothing swap. Nice. So what that means is that there will be a few dates coming up over the next little bit where you can drop off your unwanted clothes to me. And then on the day of this event, February 22nd, I will set all these clothes up in kind of like a shop kind of setting. And then everybody can come and just shop in for free clothes. Awesome. It doesn't get much easier than that. You just bring the clothes to Alyssa and you let her do the hard work. So yeah. that's awesome. And everybody benefits. Um, it's just kind of circulating stuff through your community, not wasting anything. Yeah, it's a exactly. great idea. Exactly. And you know, when it comes to closets, take these tips, get yourself started, whether it's for your own personal organization or whether you're thinking about getting ready to sell your home sometime in the spring. These details matter. Um, people look in closets and when they look in the closet, you want to be able to see their stuff. You want to be able to yeah. see... What, if their things were going in there, and the best way to do that is have it as clean as possible. Yeah. That's how you can get started with your closet organization. Uh, stay tuned. We still have one more video to come at you guys. But until then, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you guys soon. See, See you later. later.